everybody, well, welcome back, and I am here to give you some good news. I'm about to hit level 80 here, as you can tell, I'm 300 XP away. So, it is time for me to cash in this special gift uh, that they gave us. I only have 10 days left on it. I was hoping they'd do another double XP thing or something for me to use it. Um, I forgot to use it earlier. <laughs> but they didn't, so I'm going to go ahead and burn some energy and finish level 80. So I've already got Ironheart up to um, 7 stars. Um, haven't pulled the trigger on that yet, but uh, do need lots of these red, orange, and blue uh, SVC Catalysts, so i been using a lot of energy on this stuff just to try to help with the uh, grind for gear and GT4. Uh, that's what I'm working towards right now. So I will be able to do D4 tonight. It'll be probably around 9.30 or so Central Time. Uh, I'll get started into node 1 and try to go as far as I can. Uh, look at these rewards, a million gold, 100 cores, and 100 energy to help you get towards 81 uh, even sooner than you expected, right? Um, kind of funny, give you 100 energy for popping out, but let's, uh, let's grab all these gears that we can real quick. Let that energy keep recharging. SPCs. They don't drop very much though. There's eight. That's nice. And I do need a lot of these uh, mutant thingies as well. Um, these splice genes. So those molecules and isomers are kind of the, the crunch for certain types of gear that we have for E4 characters. Alright, let's, uh, let's just get some ions here. Uh, I don't know if I need all this stuff, but honestly it's just such a scatter shot when it comes to farming the, the ISO gear. I just I just hit the big notes for the extra um, ions per, per energy is a little bit higher for the, uh, the 24 notes instead of the 12s. So it's a little bit better. But uh, yeah, either way, I mean, I'll eventually use them. <laughs> just, just burning it right now just to make sure it gets used. Uh, that energy recharges real fast. Uh, oh, and as you can see here we got a couple Done. It's all good. And now I get to upgrade some guys to level 80 to 15. So first thing I want to look at is my high roller. Uh, I am going for at least 1.825 million. Today I'll do 2.4 and then I reset tonight. I'll, uh, I'll do some more. So I got 2.1 million I can spend right now. Uh, my first five um, that I'm planning on taking, if we can switch over here for a sec, I'm using the uh, Groot. Uh, Zara Tools roster organizer for my roster here. And then I'm using the farming tab where I put in the characters that I want. And it takes into account all of my current gear levels and stars and everything that's on those characters. It's a really useful tool for that. Um, I just put targets over here. So I put level 80, gear 15. Uh, and I just put ISO 4 for all of them because I don't know. I just, that would be the target at least, get that extra 10% health. But you know, can't always do that. Uh, it's a lot of resources. Um, but right now, the ones that I have checked are my first five in, so it's going to be Thanos, Sinister, Ghost, Sabretooth, and Widow is what I'm doing. And then uh, for my Cosmic, I still need minis. So I need uh, G15 minis for Proxima, Minerva, and Longshot, uh, about 40 for each of them, <laughs> for each of the mini types, so it's quite a bit. Uh, but I figured I'd get started now getting through the global nodes and stuff. If it takes a while, it's not a big deal because this is going to take probably a week or two at least um, to get anywhere close to getting one more of these guys ready. But you need all four to keep moving. So uh, there's definitely a gear wall every three nodes. And uh, the sooner you can get started on that climb, you know, it'll be a little bit better down the road. Um, you might as well just get moving even if it's with less optimal characters your first time through. But uh, just make sure you're doing some progress and have a chance of at least getting somewhere with it. So let's go back to my roster. I think the first level 80 tune that I want to make with G15 is going to be Mr. Thanos. He is seven red, all ISO fives. He is a, a beast. Uh, so we're going to pick him up first. And let's see, 437K to go from 79 to 80. Uh, that gives him 512k health, uh, but wait, there's more. <laughs> 225k for the gear is a lot. So that's why I was saying I, I don't want to waste too much gold right now. I'll do some more tonight after the soft reset when the gold milestones reset. 
Uh, but we'll go ahead and finish this off. And he will be my first G15 tune. So we will get the maxed out tier 15 164k Thanos. Um, he actually does get more um, power if you make him striker. That goes for any tune just because there's a, a raw damage stat ad added to his power. Uh, he goes over 165 with that. But uh, this makes him a beast either way. I got Raider on him right now. I will probably change that for DD4. I will switch him over to Healer, but I don't think I'll do Healer Class 5. I think I'll just do 4 uh, since I already have that unlocked. I don't really want to waste the Ions and go into 5. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily worth it, but we'll see. I'm not quite sur sure on that yet. Uh, let's see, what else we got here? We need to do uh, Sinister. He's, of course, uh, MVP of Global, as far as I know. So let's bring him up. So there's another 437k. He is six red stars. And uh, he's a Haas as well. 351k, but he restores a ton of health every turn. Um, and, you know, we've got, uh, let's see, so one piece of gear is not G15. Uh, but I do have, you know, 80 and I think it's 74, no, 72 of these uniques. Um, so it gives me enough to do him as well as uh, Sabretooth. Uh, but I'll be waiting on a lot of mini uniques for either Longshot or Phoenix. <laughs> so that is a challenge. So I'm trying to figure that out. I also don't have that ISO level 5, so I may work on that a little bit uh, and see if I can get him up there sooner rather than later. Um, since he is a support character, and it's not a whole lot of support characters in the game, and especially not too many that you want to take up very high on ISO levels, so it may be worth it to get him to ISO 5 healer and uh, make those heals really pop. So. Uh, there you go, those are my two highest power characters now. Uh, let's see, next one in is going to be... Let's see, we got Ghost, Sabretooth, and Black Widow. Um, so I think I'm going to do... Let's just do Sabretooth, the loyal companion to... Uh, oh, actually, hang on a sec. Let me see where I'm at with my gold spent. So that's the other thing, you just don't want to waste too much gold, right? You want to get your Emma Milestones while still doing this. Um, get those gears and everything along the way. Um, so I can spend another eight or 700k, so I can get one more up without uh, hitting my limit. Um, so I think for war tonight, it'll be a lot more fun if I bring uh, Sabretooth up to G15, just because my Marauders are going to get really beefy with that, and uh, this is going to make me laugh. Uh, so I'm hoping I get a couple of wins with them, but we'll see. They probably just get black ordered by something, and I'll be very upset, but that's fine too. Uh, so the thing is, with him, he only has one piece of G15 gear that requires mini uniques, uh, for G15 at least. Uh, and I got a, a plenty, plenty of the uh, mutant uh, tier 14 gear, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, main thing is just catalysts and everything, and he's got two pieces of gear that aren't even orange, so that's awesome. That makes him very, very cheap to tier 15. Alright, let's see, it's 106k, he's got... A little bit more damage and everything. The, the jumps in this from tier 14 to 15 are not nearly as big as it was from 13 to 14. Um, so that's a much more reasonable slope <laughs> for these uh, upgrades and uh, it makes a lot more sense as far as the gameplay goes to have a more gradual um, growth curve so it's not so overwhelming. Alright so I can spend another let's see 116 thousand to get that last Emma shard and then uh, oh <laughs> yeah I'm definitely gonna max out this milestone uh, this time um, so if I wanted to I could do that uh, and still let's see still get an Emma shard the everything beyond this though like when you're looking at these these two milestones getting 3,000 ions for spending 800k gold more is just not worth it unless you have to or really want to right so three L3 training modules is a joke. That should be L4 at least <laughs> to make it worthwhile. Uh, even then, that's not a whole lot. Um, but that's another, what, 400K or so? I mean, well, 375, but still, it's not a very good return on your investment, so. Um, so Widow and Ghost are gonna be my next one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do, uh, let's just get Ghost to tier 14 then um, so that she's ready to go. And I think uh, she's a really awesome solo character. She is so powerful. Um, she's really good in war defense just because a lot of people underestimate her. Uh, I put her with my uh, Guardians and Vision 
to make like a tech guardians thing with her and uh, she gets me wins sometimes, especially against like power armor. Power armor is really bad against ghosts because um, she's so fast and she dodges a ton. And if she dodges those big AOEs, they they just don't have a whole lot to kill her. Um, so, but she has four pieces of tech gear, uh, which is a lot. But she's gonna make global and the non-restricted nodes a lot easier and a lot faster for me. And you know, I don't want to spend every single day just beating my head against the wall trying to get through with, you know, Shield Trooper and stuff, right? I think Ghost and Sinister is enough of a combo that the two of them plus two, you know, warm bodies, which are Widow and Sabretooth in this case, will be fine. There'll be plenty to get through. Um, that's at least where I'm at with this, and I think that's the right way to go to start. Um, I have seen people doing, like, you know, Captain America instead of Ghost, and that's fine, but I want to go heavy on Symbiotes for City. So my plan, and I'll switch over here real quick. So my plan is I got these guys done. I got I got to get more skill, tech, and mutant stuff for Longshot, Minerva, and Proxima. And then in the meantime, I'll be building up uh, City once I'm done with those. Um, and Scream's cheap. Symbiote Spider-Man is amazing. He should be one of your G15s, I think. So I'm, I'm going to go for him and Anti-Venom. And those are my three bios for, you know, the regular nodes. And then I'll be doing Invisible Woman later. But you got to think, this is, Scream's only two pieces. Symbiote's, uh, I think he's a four. Anti-Venom and Invisible Woman are three pieces each with the mini 15s. And so I think that's enough of a spread where I can do four on bio. It also is farther down the line and I'm not going to be through Cosmic for some time. So it gives me a lot more time to focus on collecting those bio pieces to try to fill in those gaps. Uh, I was thinking of doing Ghost Rider for Mystic. Um, maybe if I do like, uh, you know, I already did Thanos, right? So if I do Thanos, I can do him and Ghost Rider and Maw and then maybe leave out Punisher or Anti-Venom. I'm not sure yet. I'm still trying to figure that out and it's also going to come into, uh, I'm, I'm going to have to take into account like what sort of orange regular catalyst gear that they need as well. Uh, but these ones are done. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, hit my button on Mantis here to upload my roster information to msf.gg. There we go, it is done. And then I'm going to make an export uh, copy for my roster tool organizer. So I'll do that. And let's see if we can do this with full desktop here. So, so what I did was I hit the button here to upload to msf.gg. And then, uh, let me see here. So this is my Mantis file. I have my roster export here. So I'm gonna copy that over to my Zara Tools folder. Then I'm gonna come in here, go to my roster page and hit the Zara Tools import and import from roster extractor. So as long as you already have the folder made in your Google Drive, that's MSF underscore Zara Tools, when you throw the roster extract in there, that's exactly where it goes to look when you run the uh, import from roster extractor thing. It's an automated script, it always looks there. And all you gotta do is hit that, and now it's gonna run a script. And what it's gonna do is look through your roster to see what changed and give you the delta. And it's gonna update it here. And you'll see this number right here will change quite a bit because it's my TCP. And as it updates those individual characters, it should uh, update their information as well. <laughs> Did I not do that right? Let me check. Alright. Validate this. Yes. Okay. Let me see here. Maybe it didn't pick them up. Alright, so Sabretooth. There it is. Did it pick them up? Level 80. Power went up. Yeah. I can un unfavorite him. Or I can leave Ghost favorited. I'll finish her tonight. And let's see, there's Thanos. All right, big boy Thanos. Uh, let's see, yeah, 164k shots. And then, yeah, so it's picking it up. Maybe I didn't do the export right. Let me double check this. So what I do is I go into Tools, Export to Groot, put it in here, select that folder, and it should overwrite. And it did. So then I copy that here, go back into my our tools. Let's just drag and drop it. Oh, maybe that's what it did. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think I, I copied it in. 
that explained why it didn't change. So now it shows that the last modified was by me uh, just now. So I can go back into Zara tools, do import from roster extractor, and uh, watch the number grow. I can also pull it up over here and see what my total power is, which is now 10,975,000. So this thing is running through and updating. Uh, looks like it's not recognizing the G15. So if you ever have an issue like this, you can just overwrite it by uh, putting in your information there. And you can always copy these in here. Although he is a six on his basic and fix that. So it looks like the G15 needs a little bit of uh, some reading work. <laughs> Uh, not quite uh, accurate, but that's okay. We got this fixed up. Um, I can double check the power on those guys. And then I can resort this all by um, Z to A on power. So that way my highest power characters are at the top, which it did register their numbers correctly. And uh, then my whole roster is updated. So now the next thing I can do is go back to my farming tab here. And uh, let's see. So, oh, I got to fix... Um, Mr. Sabretooth as well, 15, and then he has seven, and then six, six, and five. All right, I'll talk to Zara about that, see if we can get that worked out. I'm not sure why I didn't pick that up correctly, but you know, that's how it goes sometimes. So uh, when I go back to my farming page here, now that that's correct, you can see here they're already level 80, G15. Um, it's picking that up for them. And so now my inventory is going to adjust um, significantly once I turn off farming on them because I no longer need to farm them, right? So Mr. Sinister's done, Sabretooth is done, and Thanos is done. Um, so then I need to update my inventories because obviously I've used a lot of this gear, which does need to be done manually right now, but they are working on a way to import it via Mantis automatically, which would be really cool. Once that's available, uh, it's going to be a lot easier to track your gear inventory and all that. So I'm really looking forward to that once it's available. Uh, let's see. Achievements. Did we get something here? Reach player level 80. Oh my god, look at this. We get five Hulk shards. Wow. And 20 cores. What? How? Oh, there's Arena Battle Tracker now. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And let's see, I'm coming up on a thousand days logged. Wow. That's a lot of days. So, anyway, check out that sweet Dark Dimension 4 profile pic thing. Very cool. So, anyway, that's where I'm at. Um, Ghost and Widow will be finished uh, after reset this evening, and then I'll be going into Dark Dimension 4 at around 9.30, I think, Central Time. I'm going to shoot for that to get started. Um, probably do a Blitz rotation to warm up, and then uh, go right into it and try to get... Uh, get to a stopping point before the reset at 11 p.m. my time and then reload uh, go back in with the full team and uh, we'll see how far we can get hopefully we can get through the non-global nodes but uh, I don't know we'll see um, I may, did, may need to do some tier 4 upgrades on a couple of my characters uh, like Ghost for instance I haven't done her uh, special or basic but since you basic all the time with her it may be worth it to get that little bit more damage. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to try to do it without wasting any more tier fours on these guys. <laughs> but we'll see. So I uh, hope you all join me. Hope it's, uh, it's a good ride. I know this one's going to be very weird because you're going to do like one section and then have to wait a couple of weeks until you can get into the next one. So uh, we'll, uh, I'll try to keep it together as much as I can and uh, make a good playlist of all my DD4 streams. So if you can, join me on Twitch or YouTube tonight and I'll see you then. Thanks again.